Welcome back to Carolina News. The NFL draft is tonight and all eyes in the Columbia area will be on tight end Hayden Hurst. The former Gamecock is the top rated tight end on several draft boards and he's expected to go off the board late in the first round. The Patriots, Eagles, Jaguars and Lions are rumored to be very interested in the former Gamecock. Other notable Gamecocks looking to hear their name called at the draft include Sky Moore and Jamarcus King. Sky Moore is ranked six in school history and total tackles and he is projected to go off the board within the first four rounds of the draft. And sliding things over to the diamond, the Gamecock baseball team rolled past Furman on Tuesday night as they hit a season high 17 hits. The team is heading to Nashville for a weekend series against Vanderbilt. The Gamecocks are in the midst of a four game winning streak and will look to continue it against the 17th ranked Commodores. Coach Mark Kingston says he's happy with the growth of his team. When you play well, you have more energy, you look more positive, you look more uh, energetic. Uh, to me, I just see a team that is gaining confidence in the fact that we're getting back to full strength and uh, we think we can be okay. The first game of the series will be this Friday at 630. Undefeated right-hander Logan Chapman will be on the mound for the Gamecocks. And keeping things on the diamond, the Gamecocks softball team handled their business in the upstate last night as they defeated the Spartans 7-1. The Gamecocks hit a season-high four home runs in the victory. The Gamecocks are currently 38-11 and on the season. Their 38 wins this season are tied for the most underhead coach, Beverly Smith. The team will be back in Columbia on Friday when they take on Mississippi State. And about last night. The NBA players are still going strong and four teams played in two pivotal game fives last night. We're going to start things off in Cleveland as the Cavs took on the Pacers. Third quarter, Pacers up two before LeBron James bulldozes his way to a layup, tying the game up at 56. Moving the game on to the fourth quarter, score tied at 95. Victor Oladipo tries to drive on the King, but LeBron blocks it off the backboard. He's done that once or twice in his career. And then on the final possession of the game, LeBron gets the ball, dribbles, and drills a step back three to break the hearts of Pacers fans yet again. James dropped 44 points, snagged 10 rebounds, and had seven assists in the game. The Cavs now have a 3-2 lead in the series. And moving things to OKC, Thunder taking on the Jazz. Jazz up big as Jay Crowder drills this three to give the Jazz a 25-point lead. But Russell Westbrook and Paul George had a never-say-die attitude all game and roared the Thunder back into the game. Westbrook had 45 on the night, including this three that tied the game up at 78. The Thunder stormed past the Jazz, 107-99 to to continue their season. The Jazz still lead the series 3-2. The series will continue tomorrow night in Salt Lake City. That's all the sports I have today. I'm going to send things back to y'all.